So what you're seeing here is liquid oxygen flowing out of the engine right now. And the reason that we do this right up until the point where we're testing is that liquid oxygen boils at a really, really low temperature. The boiling point is somewhere around negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to make sure that the temperature of the plumbing leading all the way up to the engine on the lock side, which is liquid oxygen, is cold enough so that we can ensure that we have it in liquid form all the way up into the engine when we do our testing. So if you look here, you can actually see that water vapor in the atmosphere condensing down onto the plumbing and then subsequently freezing. You might not notice it in this video, but the spark plug actually delayed in firing, and that's indicated by the locks flowing through before you actually see the blue flame. And what that means is that the locks and the fuel had plenty of time to mix together in the chamber and entirely fill up the chamber so that by the time the spark plug did fire, we had a small detonation. With that detonation, a shock wave occurred, and the spark plug actually wasn't designed to be able to withstand that shock, so you can see part of it launch off the top of the engine. Fortunately, the bottom half of the spark plug got lodged in the top of the engine, sealed it off, and we were able to sustain hot fire for the duration of the test. We were definitely concerned about it at the onset, but after looking into the issue a little bit, and after altering what our, our testing procedures were, we're able to prevent that from happening in the future. Landing on the moon, even an unmanned spacecraft, has only ever been done by the United States, Soviet Russia, and now China. And to say that the fourth entity on the moon is going to be not just private space, but a university is amazing to me.